Shanks is one of the most fearsome Yonko, even among the Yonko, his crew is the most balanced one. Before he even came to Luffy's village, Fusha village, he often used to duel Dracul Mihawk. People called their duels as legendary, and they too raved about their duels. And the reporters used to cover the news with utmost enthusiasm. So when someone as strong as Shanks came to New World from East Blue, losing his dominant hand, everyone was shocked, including Whitebeard. It is revealed that Ben Beckman is almost as strong as Shanks. So if Shanks could rival the strongest swordsman 12 years ago, it also implies that Ben Beckman was nearly as powerful as them. So we can assume that Yasip and Lucky Roo weren't far behind as well. So the question is, what were these monsters up to in the East Blue? And why did they go there in the first place? Let's talk about this in today's video. Folks, I upload One Piece related video every day, so subscribe to this channel. And if you don't want to miss out daily updates, then hit the bell icon. So, 12 years after Goldie Roger disbanded his crew, Shanks arrived on Dawn Island of East Blue. There, he met a strange kid named Monkey D. Luffy. He enjoyed the atmosphere and the people of Luffy's village, especially Luffy and bar owner Makino. Thus, he decided to make this island his crew's temporary base. During his interaction with Shanks and his crewmates, Luffy got attached to them. He was so fascinated by them that he even wanted to join their crew. In order to prove his manliness, he even cut near his left eye. However, Luffy was disappointed in Shanks when he was humiliated by a bandit called Higuma. Instead of fighting like a real man, Shanks chickened out and didn't even respond to Higuma's assault or provocation. However, this didn't change his admiration for Shanks or his crewmates. So when Higuma insulted them, Luffy challenged him like a man and got himself in trouble. When Shanks came to Luffy's rescue and showed how a man should act, Luffy started to respect and admire him even more. Later, Shanks even sacrificed his dominant hand to save Luffy's life. And Luffy remembers his grace in his heart. So when his grandfather tried to criticize Shanks, Luffy got angry at him. Garp wanted Luffy to become a marine, but because of Shanks, he embarked on his own pirate journey. That's why he resents Shanks. Twelve years ago, Shanks went to East Blue for a certain reason. That year, he raided a world government ship that was carrying or escorting Gomu Gomu no Mi. Shanks said that he got the fruit raiding a pirate ship, but who's who informed us that Shanks raided a government ship? It's a contradiction. Probably, CP9 and Who's Who disguised themselves as pirates to transport Gomu Gomu no Mi. If that's the case, it shows how cautious the government was and how important this fruit was to them. But after not seeing Shanks or any of his crewmates using this devil fruit, they might have been puzzled where the fruit has gone. Does that mean Shanks came to East Blue to get Gomu Gomu no Mi? Shanks and his crewmates came to East Blue even before they got their hands on Gomu Gomu no Mi. So we can say yes and no at the same time. Thirteen years ago, Diaz Barrels tried to sell Ope Ope no Mi. Doflamingo got the news and he wanted it for his own use. He wanted to manipulate Trafalgar Law and make him his pawn. I know what you are thinking. Did Shanks have the same agenda? Does he want to manipulate Luffy? Well, I do not know. However, someone close to Luffy gave us a useful hint, and I'll make a video based on that. Maybe, Shanks got the information that CP9 would disguise as pirates and transport Gomu Gomu fruit. He used it against them and snatched the fruit. In addition to it, I think Shanks had another goal in mind. I think Shanks knew that Goldie Roger has a son and he is somewhere in East Blue. He didn't know the specifics, so he made several trips to find him. After Roger and his crew learned the true history of the world, he wanted his son to carry out the mission of the D clan. He jokingly told his crew about it. Maybe, Roger instructed Shanks to find gum gum fruit and let his son eat it. But before he could find him, he met a very strange kid, Monkey D. Luffy. He reminded him of his younger self. It didn't end there. The way Luffy spoke reminded him of his beloved captain, Goldie Roger. And he became more attached to Luffy the more he interacted with him. He didn't even hesitate to sacrifice his hand to save his life. And when Luffy ate gum gum fruit, it completed full circle. He was convinced maybe Luffy is the man Roger is waiting for. So, I think Shanks went to East Blue to find Roger's descendant and feed him Gomu Gomu no Mi, but it was Luffy destined to have it, and Shanks made a peace with it. In fact, he is convinced that Luffy is the one who will carry out the mission for Roger, Nika, or Joy Boy. That's why, when he saved Kobe from the current fleet Admiral Sakazuki, he said that, Kobe's bravery has greatly changed the fate of the world. Why Shanks went to East Blue, comment down below. Like the video if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon for daily updates. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.